Hello and welcome to the GameBlocks tutorial on indexing. So in this tutorial we are going to make a brief game that will count the number of vowels in a word and um, it'll take a bunch of code but a lot of the code is repetitive so we'll like just dive in here. So we'll click on design and we're gonna want a text label to describe the rules and we will click on blocks and then in event drawer we want when the game starts and then in the text drawer we want to set label one's text and we're going to say please enter a word then press spacebar to see how many vowels are in that word. And we'll make sure so it doesn't quite fit in our box, so let's fix that. We'll scooch the text over as far as we can to the left. Alright. We're close. Close enough. Um, we will then want an area on the design a label that will tell us how many vowels are in the word and we'll want to go to blocks and set that up as well so we can go to the text drawer or we can just right click and duplicate and set label 2 to maybe the number of vowels we're also going to need a text input area and so we can move that drag it out to the stage and we're going to need one more label so I'll click on labels and this label will actually just contain the number of vowels in that word and that's what the program will figure out so if we check we've still got a little problem here and our text for the number of vowels is too far to the left so we'll just move it a little bit more there that looks good so let's go to blocks if we're gonna have a number of vowels that means we're gonna need a variable so we'll click on the variables drawer and drag out an initialize variable and we can just call this one num vowels and initially we should set it to zero and make sure that it is a value okay and now we want, since we're pressing the space bar, once we have a word, we will get an event and drag out a when left arrow is pressed and then select space bar. Good. <clears throat> so now we're going to want to go through the whatever string the user enters and we're going to want to go through bit by bit. And so I'll give you an example. If we used the string hello, we want it to check the H to see if it's a vowel, then the E, then the L, then the other L, and then the O. So we want to go through the whole string. So we are going to want to go to control, and we are going to want to go through each of the parts of the string to find out if each character is a vowel or not. So we'll drag this count with I from 1 to 10 by 1 block. And we want to start at 1, because that's the first position in the string. And we want to go to however many characters the user typed. So we don't need this 10. We can delete that. But we will click on text. And there is a length of hello. And so we'll grab that and we will click that in but we don't want hello because there's no guarantee the user will always type in hello we want to get the length of whatever the user put in there and so this will count from the first position of the word all the way to the end and so if we typed in by it would start at the B and then it would go to the Y and then it would go to the E and since it's only three characters, this block would be from I from 1 to 3, because the length of the text would be 3. So now that we've got that, 
we can then start comparing and seeing if these things are actually uh, vowels. So again, we might want to go to control and we want an if block and we'll pop that in and then we need to check if things are equal to each other so we'll go to logic drawer and grab out an equals block and then we want to check if whatever that text inputs index of i is a vowel then we will move up the number num vowels by one so let's do this one bit at a time let's first check this block so if the text if text one's input hold on let's think about this yeah we're gonna need the character so if the character at index one of string let's try that one so we'll put that in but instead of one we don't always want to check like the first letter we'll get rid of this delete it we want to take I and what that means is the first time through it'll check the first character and the next time through it will go up by one and it'll check the second character and the third time through it'll go up by one and check the third character and it will do that over and over and over and over again until it hits the length of the string the user put in so we also don't want this hello so we'll get rid of that but we want the string that the user put in so we can go to the text drawer and select a text input one's text and pop it in and so we are checking in the case of typing B Y E on the first time we're checking B and we want to see if that's a vowel so we just want to see if it's equal to one of the vowels and I'll put in a lowercase a and if that's equal we should do something if it's not we'll just skip it but if it's equal we want to take this number this variable num vowels and we want to add one to it so if we do that we'll go to variables drawer and we want to change the num vowels by one and at the very end of all this processing we want to set this text box to whatever number is currently stored in num vowels so we'll click on the text drawer and we will set and I'm not sure what label it is so I'll go back to the design button it's already clicked so it's label 3 so we want to set label 3's text and I'll right click and delete hello and I'm just gonna drag num vowels down so we're gonna set it to num vowels so let's see if this even works all right we're gonna type a word and we're gonna make it fail first so we're checking for lowercase a's we'll type by and I'll hit spacebar and it says the number of vowels is zero which is correct well there is an E but we're only checking for lowercase a's so let's do a vowel with a lowercase a so we'll do cat and we'll hit spacebar and it went to one good so this might be working let's try one with two a's in it we'll try garbage oh that got three so what's going on here if I do cat again I wonder if I'll get four so see the program isn't stopping it's counting up the number of vowels every time so if we really wanted to start to change that we could maybe say I don't know it if we hit enter we'll stop all scripts and sprites or something like that um, for now though I'm fine with having it keep counting up and all we have to do is reset the game to return it so now the only problem is we're only checking for little a's so if I try like a letter or a word in all capital letters and I hit enter there is an a in it but it's not counting it because I'm only comparing it to little a's so I can fix that and I can fix it fairly easy although it's going to take a little bit of work to get all the instances so what I can do is I can click on the logic drawer I can click on an or block and an or block will just compare um, two different things and if one of them is true then it'll return a true 
And so what I would like to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put one of these in here and I'm going to make it look for a capital A. And the other one is going to look for the lowercase a. And I know it stretches off the screen, but this piece of code now says check the character at index of 1 to start with. Is it a little a? If it isn't, return false. If it is, return true. Also check to see if it's a big A. And if it's a big A, return true. And if it's a little, if it's not, return false. And if one of these is true, then we found an A, and that should upgrade the or update the num vowels variable by one. So let's see if it works. We'll do a little A. Okay, we got it. I can hit reset game. We'll do a big A, and we got it. And any combinations should work. So if I type garbage with one big A and one little A, I should get two. And I do. So if you want to make this complete, we then have to add in all the different vowels. And with some copy and pasting, it's really easy to do. The real trick is figuring out how many vowels we have. And I think there's A, E, I, O, U. So E, I, O, and U are four vowels we haven't added yet. So we can click this blue star and then we can add else statements or maybe we'll add else if statements and we'll add four of them and then to get rid of the pop-up we add a blue star again and I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it a little bit better and now instead of doing everything over and over and over again we can just right click and duplicate these click them in place and then if we want to check for a little e we can put a little e in here we can scroll over and put in a capital E and we want it to do the same thing we're just counting up vowels so with some quick cutting pasting we can now check for E's for both lowercase and uppercase so here we've got two A's and an E and if we click spacebar it will now count up the threes it's throwing me some errors because my if blocks aren't completed and so with some quick cutting and pasting I can get this all configured give me a second and the nice thing is once this is done once we don't have to keep doing it and then we have E I O capital O and U and capital U and so it looks cumbersome and if I unzoom here a little bit There it is. We're checking for both types of A's, both types of E's, both types of I's, both types of O's, both types of U's. And so any word we type in, like Mississippi, I hope I spelled that right, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 it should count up the vowels automatically and get four, and those are all I's. If I type in Hawaii, we should get four, but it'll be four plus four, we'll get eight. Um, I'm trying to think of a, if we just type in vowels, and let me see, it should get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so it looks like our program's working. So our program now will count up any word, the number of vowels in any word, no matter if it's capital or lowercase, and it's doing that by going through the string one letter at a time, which is known as indexing. Thank you for watching.